Hey y'all, my Rose Petals and Rose Fellows. It is Candace Rose and I'm back for another video. This video is going to be a little bit different. Well, no, it's not different. I mean, it's a makeup tutorial, but I feel like I haven't done a makeup tutorial in forever. And this one is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a makeup tutorial slash a product review of everything wet and wild. So everything that I have purchased, even the brushes, it's all going to be from Wet n Wild. And I'm a little bit apprehensive about it because if you guys have watched some of my previous makeup tutorials, you guys know that I have like my staple products that I use, especially brushes. So this is going to be challenging, but I guess I'm going to push the envelope. So without further ado... together okay so as you can see these brows look so intense so we are going to taper them off but first the uh, product that I use for my brows is this wet and wild um, let me see does it have anything on here I don't know it's written in a different language but it's an eyebrow um, pencil and this is in the shade 623a brunettes do it better i'm going to use this wet and wild small angle brush here and i'm going to use this wet and wild concealer in medium tiny i'm going to taper these brows out because they look crazy intense and i look like a psycho Always takes me a while to do my brows. Y'all know I got them curly, super curly brows. Okay, let me quit picking at them. Let's just jump right into the eyes. Um, I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different. Normally, when I put on primers, I use my Benefits uh, Professionals on my lids, but today I'm gonna do something different and I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild. Um, eyeshadow primer. This is my first time ever using it. Let's try. Um, it's a little bit of a greasier base than the professional. But once you start to work it in, it starts to feel a little bit more velvety. Now that it has completely dried down, I'm going to go back in with this, uh, the medium tiny concealer, and I'm just going to spread that all over my eyebrows. Now, the reason why I put that eyeshadow base on first is to keep it from, is to keep my lids from creasing. This also, um, the concealer method also keeps your lids from creasing and it also makes your eyeshadows pop. So you wanna get a concealer that's a little bit lighter. So using the eyeshadow base with the concealer on top makes it really hard to blend with. It's like you have to kind of work really fast in order, like once you lay the concealer down, you gotta blend it out pretty fast because it's hard to blend. I am going to be using this eyeshadow palette here. This is the Not A Basic Peach eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna be using this um, peachy, orangey type color. And I'm going to be using this blending brush, this Wet n Wild blending brush. I've had this brush for a while. And I'm going to apply that in my crease area. Y'all, if y'all can see what this eyeshadow is doing. Ooh, y'all see that right there? Like, it's kind of like, mm -mm, I don't like that. I don't 
like how this is grabbing this um, eyeshadow. Let me try this side because I did blend this more on this side. So let me try this side. Mm. I don't know. Well, this side is a little bit better. This side is so blotchy because I did not realize um, how quick this dries down. This side is blending a little bit better. It doesn't look so blotchy and scaly. So, yeah. Let me just, I might have to wipe this eye off and try it over again. Or I'm gonna just keep going, forget it. I'm oh my God, look at this. I don't like that. What the, what the, what is this eyeshadow doing? What is this base doing? Okay. I am going to take, um, I don't know. I'm gonna take this color using the same brush and I'm going to apply that directly into the crease. Now one thing I can say about Wet n Wild, their eye brush ranges are very, very limited. They don't have a whole lot of eye um, shadow brush ranges. Like, so I'll probably be using this brush for everything. feel about this I like the eyeshadow so I know it's not the eyeshadow at all I think it's more so of the base because as you guys know if your foundation is jacked up how the heck is anything else going to come into play so I'm gonna just keep working this in it is not the eyeshadow palette it is the base that I use it seems like this eye is looking a little bit better and less splotchier than this eye. Probably because I worked on this eye first and then I like tackled this eye. Once I realized that the, the concealer was drying down super fast when I got to this one, I worked way faster. So I have another one of these blending brushes, a nice clean one. And I'm just gonna go back and like kinda blend out those harsh lines it's starting to look better to be honest wet and wild they only have this big fluffy brush like blending brush they don't have like a smaller one so I would suggest that you get multiple ones of these I mean they're only a dollar anyway so the first blending brush that we used for these two shades I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go in with this deep brown color Oh, that's gonna be so hard using that big fluffy brush. Huh, <sighs> for the outer V, honey. This gonna be hot. And I'm using very, very, very light pressure, like super light pre pressure, hello. Like I'm starting from the outer V and I'm not taking that all the way, like I'm just blending it out, like I'm, like doing like a dump and blend type of thing. So I'm like dumping the color into the outer V, like closer to the lid and I'm like blending it out ever so slightly upwards. Medium tiny. Yet again, I'm gonna apply that directly onto the lid and this time I'm going to work fast. I'm gonna use this big ass concealer brush and see what that does. I'm not necessarily carving out my lid per se. I'm just brightening up the lid to lay down the next color. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. Y'all don't make fun of my, my nails because I am taking them off. I'm getting them done tomorrow. I ain't feeling it. This, this is an eyeshadow brush. Whew. And I'm gonna take this color right here and I'm gonna apply that on the lid. Now when you use, um, when you're applying eyeshadow onto the lid, you wanna use a packing motion. 
jungle. I'm gonna take that same brush and just blend it out, blend out those harsh lines. Uh -huh. Let's apply some eyeliner, shall we? I am going to do a wing liner because I just feel like sometimes a wing liner can cover up a lot of mistakes. They definitely can. So I am going to be using this felt tip um, eyeliner. So I do feel like the eyeliner did help out a little bit. So because I am so limited on brushes and I'm trying my hardest not to use any of my other brushes, but Wet n Wild, I'm going to take a Q-tip. Well, I took a Q-tip and I went back into that palette and used that gold color and I just popped it right into my tear duct. So unfortunately, Wet n Wild did not have a whole lot of lash options. They did have a pair of lashes, but they were like super, super thin. Um, so I am going to use some different lashes. These are by Broadway Eyes. These are the Femme style lashes. Our lashes on, now let's work on complexion. I'm going to be taking this face primer, this matte face primer. And I'm gonna put that all over my face. I'm going to be taking these two foundations and I'm going to mix them. Lighter one is in cocoa and the darker one is in mahogany. I like them areas. Brighten that face up. This is looking a little bit too, too highlighted. Okay, so this is looking a little bit too highlighted and this is drying so fast, my gosh. Oh, I am looking ghostly, okay? So because that concealer was way too light, like this probably would've, that probably would've been light enough like for my winter shade. This is clearly way too light. I am going to go in with another concealer. This is a darker concealer. This is in the shade Dark Cocoa. And I'm going to apply that on just a little dab, just to bring some warmth back into this highlight. I'm gonna take this um, contour stick. This is the Mega Stick Contour Stick. I'm just going to cream contour my face. I'm going to use this uh, powder brush and I'm going to use this pressed powder and I'm just going to set the areas where I did not highlight and, and contour. Now I'm going to set and my highlight and contour, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow um, Contour Palette. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender for that. Okay, so now I'm going to take that same brush with a little bit of that, um, that pressed powder on there and I'm just going to dust off the excess. I'm going to use the same beauty blender, opposite side, and I'm going to set the contour.
Now I could not find a blush, so I am going to take one of the colors out of the eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use this blush brush. I'm going to take this color right here and I'm just going to apply that on my cheeks as a blush. So I'm gonna take this fan brush and I'm gonna take this highlighter and I'm going to add this to the high points of my cheeks. Okay, so I'm going to be trying a lip color that is so different. Y'all know I love my pinky nudes. Y'all know I love like my nudes, my corals, my browns, but I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, and this is in the shade Flame of the Game. And this is the final look. I thought I wasn't going to like this lip color at first. Because when I first put it on, while it was wet, it was a little bit streaky. After looking at this look, I think I'm giving y'all like Rihanna wild thoughts vibe. Am I giving y'all that wild thoughts vibe? Mm -hmm. So overall, I did like the makeup. Like I like I like what I did use. Now... I can say that if you are a beginner, if you are starting out doing makeup or doing your own makeup, I would not recommend um, like the concealer and um, like the felt tip. Well, I would get a different felt tip liner um, because it dries down way too fast. But overall, I do like Wet n Wild. Oh, thank you guys so, 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 so much. I love you guys so much. And let me know how you feel about this look like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video